Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up. Oh. Alright guys, what is going on? Welcome to another video, welcome to another episode of Making Gains and tonight's episode is going to be controversially titled, I do believe and it's going to be my opportunity to talk about the subject of marijuana and bodybuilding and whether they can mix and I'm here to tell you guys that yes, they can mix I have integrated the two. I've been training consistently for probably about six years and I've been smoking weed consistently for probably about nine years and for some of you guys that may be a surprise but it's the truth. Um, I don't know if it's to do with the the place I was brought up in in New Zealand but um, it's definitely abundant and it's my preferred sort of outlet um, to alcohol and cigarettes. I'd much rather smoke a little uh, weed and, and you know get high that way but with that said you know I've had I had no choice being a being a regular gym goer and a regular marijuana smoker I had no choice but to integrate the two and that's exactly what I did so today I, I'm not going to talk too much about it in fact you know I am at a point now where it's probably going to be best for me to to cut it to be honest to move on from this it's been a period of my life nine years like I said and it's you know, it's coming to the point where I really am wasting too much time. I'm wasting too much time uh, thinking about it. I'm wasting too much time getting it. I'm wasting too much time smoking it. Um, but that's not what we're here to talk to. <laughs> that's not what we're here to talk about today. We're here to talk about how it has been integrated into my lifting life. So marijuana and bodybuilding, do they mix? Yes, they do. The first way I use it as a positive is pre-workout. Now, yeah. <laughs> There's two types of guys who smoke weed. There's one who smokes it and gets spaced out, goes sit on the couch and laughs at every random thing that's on TV with their eyes half closed. Then there's the other guy who might be artistic, they might be quite creative, and they'll have a smoke and then they'll want to go to and do whatever hobby they like doing, but just be so much more involved in it and so much more you know, zoned in. And that is the kind of guy I am. I like to use it as, as, as a as a boost to be honest it's meant to be a downer but it gives me a buzz it really does it lifts me up and if I've got something to do if I've got like a list of things to do man I'll just start going through them bang 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 it really does allow me to just zone in being a regular smoker it doesn't make me really high anymore you know what I mean it's it's more so a comfort zone it's more so me entering a comfort zone that I've been in every day for the last nine years and it's it's fantastic. I don't mix it with work, but what I do mix it with is lifting. So pre-workout, I'll have it, um, you know, within 15-20 minutes of going to the gym. No one will know. Um, as I said, I walk in the gym just like normal. But how I'm feeling personally is I've basically got everything that doesn't need to be in my head out, be like because I've had the smoke. It gives you a bit of perspective, guys. So. Let's say I'm worrying the whole entire day about stupid little things and there's, I struggle with getting that stuff out of my head um, and focusing 110% on that workout. If I've got stupid things in my head, you know, relationship issues, not that I have a relationship, but um, shit like that, it's really going to play on my mind and, and having a wee smoke before I go to the gym really allows me to just let that stuff go and focus, really focus on my workout. Um, not only that, but it's it's uh, you know it's meant to be a muscle, muscle relaxant. But man, what you'll find is is let's say you're doing a lat pull down and you're just pulling it down like that. Okay, you're just going through the motion. If you've had a wee smoke before you go, trust me, you will be feeling every single muscle as you pull it down. You'll be feeling the stretch and feeling it down, pulling it down, feeling the stretch, and the pain is not so bad. The pain's not as bad. So there's three benefits. It lets me release any negative thoughts before I get in the gym. It allows me to really zone in and concentrate on what I'm doing. And it doesn't hurt as much. So those are three benefits. Obviously, you know, there comes a, there comes a time when use turns into abuse. If you're doing it every single day, it's probably not ideal. You do want to be able to train without, of course. I just prefer to train with. So as well as that, the other time in the day where I like to use marijuana to assist me in making gains 
is when I'm going to eat. So let's say I'm struggling for calories for that particular day, I wasn't really hungry in the morning, I'll get home, I'll have my workout, and I'll come home and I'll think, fuck, I've only had 1500 calories today. If I want to get 3,500 or 4,000 in before the end of the day, I'm probably going to have to eat quite a bit of food right now. So, if I'm not feeling too hungry, there's one thing I can introduce that's always going to make me um, you know, pretty damn hungry, and that is having another smoke. So, yeah, that would be the two, you know, those, those are the benefits of, of marijuana in the bodybuilding world, to be honest. They, so like I said at the start, there's two types of smokers. One that is going to get fuck all done, like that guy who sings like Afro Man when he sings because he got high. You know, he had all these plans to do, but he never got them done because he got high and he just wanted to sit in front of the TV. And then you've got the other side, the guys who get motivated, they get inspired. It gives them perspective on life. They can see things for, for how they really are. And, um, and that's, that's a, a real benefit that I get from it um, on a daily basis. So with that said, that's going to wrap up today's video. I, I hope you've enjoyed it. I've actually shot this video many, many times in the past and it's never made it to YouTube because it's been, it's been a, a very taboo subject. And, you know, with guys like Artemis Dolgan coming out, you know, from Golden Aesthetics, he's probably one of my biggest inspirations right now. Um, and he openly smokes it. I mean, he lives in California, so it's legal. That's the other thing, you know, it is illegal. It's illegal, man. In Australia, it's going to be legal for medicinal purposes as of 2018, which is very, very positive. Um, that's not me as of this stage. So for me to continue smoking, it's going to have to still be pushing the boundaries of legalities in this country, but that's okay. But these were my opinions and experiences with marijuana and bodybuilding. And thanks for watching. Peace. Stranded, reaching